Hi, everybody. My name is Ogin Petrovic, and I'm a test manager at VF Ideas. And today, I would like to talk about some testing tools that we use to maintain the high quality of our products. So today's video is going to be about test automation tools for functional and visual testing. But the main focus will be on visual testing tools that are really changing the speed of writing tests and deliver fast and easy way to achieve really great confidence for UI changes in web applications. The first thing I would like to mention is Cypress testing tool. It is a next generation testing tool and it is mostly compared to Selenium, but it is really different because Cypress is not constrained by some restrictions as Selenium is. It can be used to write all types of tests from end-to-end, -end, integration, and unit. And as the Cypress team says, it can test anything that runs in a browser. Next one would be Percy IO. Percy is basically a visual review platform. What it does is comparing screenshots from the tests that are driven by some test automation framework. It can be combined with all most popular testing frameworks, but today we are going to do a quick setup demo using Cypress and Percy and show you how you can easily start using these tools for your projects. Cypress is open source. Some features are paid, but all important stuff will be free forever. At the time of making this video, Percy offers a free plan that gives you 5,000 snapshots per month, and that can be more than enough to get you started and automate some smoke tests of your app. If you like it and start using it more, it is a cheap price to pay for stability that it offers. So let's begin with the setup. I refer to create folder and install Cypress in it. Okay, we will now first run npm and because we don't have package JSON, so we will need to generate one. Uh, but of course, if you have a real project, you will install Cypress into your project where you will already have that dependencies. So this is okay. Now we will just run this command and we will install Cypress. Okay, now we wait to install the Cypress. Okay, after we successfully install the Cypress, we will now open it running this command. So this is how the Cypress dashboard looks like. And here we have some example tests but we were going to leave this for now and now we're going to set up Percy account i already have an account so i will now just log in and create a new project so now after we create a project we will now need to set up Cypress and Percy to work together. And for that, we will need to first install the Percy. It will be also added as a dev dependency. Okay, so after Percy is installed, we will now connect everything. First thing we are going to add is this 
import the commands.js support and after that we are going to add this thing to this file and now We are going to create our spec. And we will use this. So here we will use base URL. This is basically the test that will load the whole page of our site. And for purpose of this, we will going to use one demo application. This is Cypress.json and here we can configure base URL. So we will use login route. And next thing we'll have to do is add run command to our test script in package.json. Okay. And what we need to do is to use this token. So we will now export first token. And by using this, we are connecting Percy and our Cypress tests. And now we can run npm test. And after the test is finished, we are now going to check results by going to builds. And this is the first build. So basically we are setting up the baseline. We are checking it in this resolution 375 pig and we are also checking it in Mozilla and home. So now we are going to create change that will make visual diff on this image and we will see how that is displayed. We will add this to our tests. So basically we are getting the email input and we are typing some text. And we will run test again. And after the test is finished, we are going to check the builds. This one is processing. And here we have representation of differences. So you see now we have text here and here we don't and the Percy that 
So this is just to showcase how the, the visual change is displayed, but in the real application, the real use case will be that font of this is changed or uh, header is bigger or some, and any, any UI change will be caught on this. So there is a lot of ways how you can use this. One approach would be if you shorten time, you can just visit all important pages that you have and take snapshots that you will use to compare. Or the other way may be to, to add it to your functional tests. And then when you, when you achieve some state, take snapshots that, that will be compared and you will have stable UI all over your application. So basically, there are, there are a lot of benefits of, of using the, these tools. As you can see, the, it is really fast to write, uh, write tests. And uh, that, that will be the, the biggest, uh, biggest advantage of this. So you can really do quick regressions with a really great confidence that everything is OK. And you can also, of course, set everything up in, in CI. So everything uh, can be completely automated. So when you, when you finish that, all you have to do is just keep the tests running. So I hope you enjoyed the video and see you soon in the next one. Bye.